Hi guys, it's your girl Jean back with another video. How's everybody doing? Today, I invite you to come in and have lunch with me. Something simple. I just wanted to make me a nice chicken sandwich. See my chicken sandwich. I don't have to go to the other places. I can make my own filet of chicken. <laughs> and I have me some cucumbers on the side. Let's give thanks. Thank you, Lord, for this day. Thank you for all of your mighty blessings. Thank you for the food that I'm about to receive. Thank you for my subscribers that are and the ones that I'm watching. I pray blessings upon everyone. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen, amen. So yes, I just made me a chicken sandwich and uh, I said, well, I'll eat me some cucumbers on the side with the chicken sandwich. And what I do with my cucumbers is I put a little salt in there and I use um, Italian dressing. Mmm. Nice and fresh. Sometimes I uh, fix it with tomatoes, but I didn't want any tomatoes today. Just my cucumbers. Mmm. Cucumbers are refreshing and it's easy to fix as a, you know, side dish, vegetable or uh, as garnish, just a snack. And you can use whatever seasoning you want. Some people just sit it in vinegar for a while. Others use ranch dressing, just different. I love a good cucumber. And you can cut them as thin as you want. Like some of these, like this one, I cut real thin. Mmm. I hope my sandwich cool off because I just fixed it so it's nice and hot. And usually when I make my chicken sandwiches, I don't eat anything with it. Sometimes I might do lettuce and tomato. Mmm. Mmm. Unless I make my own chicken sandwiches. But I also like to go out and um, I buy, I love the um, Chick-fil-A sandwich. And Hardest used to have a chicken sandwich called Big Chicken. But they stopped doing that um I think it was about two months ago and I was out and about having to take care of business and when I ordered I told the lady I want a big chicken so she was asking me all these questions I'm like a big chicken you know watch I'm saying to myself why is she asking me all these questions but then I just looked at the menu because I was at the drive-thru and they have all kind of chicken sandwiches. So I said, they doing something new. So she asked me, did I want something? I don't know what the sandwich I got was called, but it was plain chicken. And it didn't have anything, you know, with it. And I didn't like it. It didn't taste like the regular um, big chicken. It was like even... The meat, the chicken meat was not good. And um, I don't know, because I know a store, I'm not going to say the name of the store, but 
I stopped buying their chicken breast because it tastes just like that meat at that Hardee's. Yes, it did. Just like it. I don't know. It just didn't taste like, like this is chicken, you know. And um, I just, I couldn't enjoy it. I, I didn't even, I took a couple of bites and I was like, man, I came home and made me a bologna sandwich. I was like, well, I was hungry too. And you know, usually when you're hungry, you'll eat something. You said, mm, this is so good. It must be good because I'm hungry. But let me tell you, mm -mm. I did not like that chicken. I don't know what it was. So I said, you know what? When I have a taste for a chicken sandwich, I'll fix my own. Mm. This is good. Mm. I took my bun and I buttered my bun. That's the only thing I put on it. Mm. Got me some ice water. So how is everybody's day going? I know a lot of you guys probably busy going back to work and school starting up again and life is trying to get back to normal. I noticed um, just about all the businesses are open and the ones that could open back up. And the ones that can um, find somebody that want to work, that'll work for them, you know. But you got to be careful. Opening back up and getting back out there because the virus is still out there. It has not been eradicated, so I still got to be careful. Hmm. I was praying today about the things that are, you know, going on around us and praying for individual people that I know that's going through different things and then just praying for the world at large. And just, I just want to um, say to you to Be encouraged with the things going on around you and just pray for strength. And I know every time I'm reading the newspaper or watching the news, I'm just shaking my head and it's just so much. It's so much going on and people just dealing with so many things and one of the things that I noticed, um, especially coming out in the news and a lot of people that are dealing with um, mental illness. And so today I just want to encourage you that if you're going through something, depression, having suicidal thoughts, hearing voices and having nightmares, seek help. There's no shame in it. I know you want to be helped. Don't be ashamed to seek help. You know what I'm saying? 
before your situation get to the point where things do happen. And that's something we don't want to see because a lot of people don't know how to respond. They don't have a clear understanding of what you may be dealing with, or, you know, what's going on in your mind at the time. And it's just horrible. But there are agencies and counselors and ministers and psychologists, different people that you can talk to that you can seek help. And if they feel that you need some type of medication or other assistance, they'll refer you. They will even help you and some will be there to um, support you and hold your hand. But always remember you got God and he's on your side and just pray and ask him to help you get rid of those demons that in your mind and you know why you have your outbursts, why you think what you think, why you having all these bad dreams and you just don't really understand what's going on, but you know something is just not quite right with you. And a lot of people keep this stuff to themselves until something happened where they fly off the handle or they freak out or they just get worse. And sometimes family members see it and they don't know what to do until something happened. So there's a lot of agencies out there that you can call and ask for help. Say you just want to talk to somebody, you just um, seeking um, information, you know, and they will help you. So never be ashamed of what's going on because if you don't seek help, like I said, situations could just get worse. And you don't want that. You don't want that. You know, you want to be whole. And you want to be a sound mind, you know. And you can be helped in um, a lot of situations and in things that you are dealing with. And so, pray for your family member. Because some, they won't acknowledge it. You know, they don't want to be labeled. So they won't acknowledge that there's a problem. And so you just got the only thing that you can do is just really just pray, just pray, just pray for their protection and pray for their strength and pray for their healings and deliverance. And I just, I don't even, you know, know the people, but when I read about a situation or watching, like I said, watching the news and I pray over that situation and then being on social media, seeing um, different people getting arrested and have mental health issues and the police don't recognize that. So they go into their action, you know, with what they do. Um, and, you know, it's sad, you know, it's sad. And so we constantly constantly have to be aware of other people. You know, you have to care. You have to care, you know, whether they a friend or family. You know, I, 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 I have empathy for people in all situations, you know. I don't like to see nobody suffering. I don't like to see anybody hurt. And so when I just see some of these stories and hear some of these stories, I just, you know, pray for them. I don't know their situation or anything, but I just pray for them because I don't want to see anybody going through.
Mm. That sandwich is so good. <laughs> I know a lot of times you don't see me eat too much because I talk all the time. So that's why I just invite you sometime to just come in and, you know, eat with me. <laughs> and, and listen to me. <laughs> If you want to ask me a question, just put a comment in with a question that you have or a topic that you want me to talk about or a prayer request. Mm. It is so nice today. I am enjoying the weather. I'm enjoying the breeze. I just can't get out and about right now. Yesterday, I went down to take my trash to the dumpster. And it was just so nice. And so my sister came by. And bought me some bread pudding that another sister um, had, had made. And um, she said, you been out? I said, no. I said, I ain't feeling too good. I was slow yesterday, y'all. I, I, I slept. And then I tossed and turned. And I went back to sleep. And so I, I think I got in pretty good hours of sleep. But when I woke up, I was dragging. So when I woke up this morning, I felt much better. I felt much better. But it's still some things that I wanted to do today that I have not done. <laughs> so since I feel better today, I hope I feel much, much better tomorrow so that I can um do... um some things around the apartment that I wanted to do. Get something done. Mm -hmm. Mm. Mm -hmm. I watched Aretha Franklin's the movie about Aretha Franklin it's not her movie but the movie about her respect it was interesting it was a nice movie I actually wanted to hear Sky sing some more <laughs> that look her can sing oh she can sing I really wanted to hear her sing. I was like, they ain't that sky sing enough, but she had to grow up to get the full story. I haven't been able to watch any movies the last couple of days because my fire stick died on me. So I need to get another one. I'm going to do it one day. One day I'm going to get out. I'm going to go buy me another fire stick. Because <laughs> I hate on Saturday. This is usually my movie day. Just watch my movies all day. And so, 
I had to pop in uh, some DVDs that I had. I was able to find this company because it's so hard to find um, what they're selling the movies from the 1930s and 1940s because that's what I like. Um, and I was able to find my favorite movie of all time, A Tree Grows in Brooklyn. And it's just something about that movie that just moves me, you know? The atmosphere, and I like all the actors and actresses that's um, in that movie. And um, so I have a DVD of that, and I could just pop that in anytime I want to see it. I have watched it so many times. I know it from beginning to end. <laughs> um, I found um, I found some other um, movies um, from that era. And so I didn't watch them this weekend because I, um, I told you I was slow. I've been moving too slow. And I've been falling asleep. Oh, my goodness. I'll sleep for about an hour, hour and a half. Wake up. Next thing you know, I'm asleep again. I guess my body was just tired and it needed to catch up. It needed to rest. Mm. Yeah, but anyway, I'm going to let you guys go. I appreciate you watching me. And for those that have subscribed, thank you for being a subscriber. And please go back and look at my other videos that you have not seen. And if you have not yet subscribed to this channel, please subscribe to It's Your Girl Jean. Like this video and share it with others. And remember, be encouraged and continue to pray and pray for others. I am going to continue to pray for you and yours. Be blessed.